Hey everyone, it's Wynn. Um, update on the cruising fleet this morning and a quick look at the weather forecast from Chris Bedford, which really um, hasn't changed a whole heck of a lot, but I wanted to show you a couple of more pictures. Um, this is the current analysis of the wind field on the lake. And uh, we talked last night about as the land cools off and the lake stays warm, we can develop winds that come flow from the land to the lake, uh, lake uh, land breezes they're called. And it really looks like we got that going on on the southern portion of the lake here. You can see all of these sort of westerly winds on the west shore and easterly winds on the east shore. Um, and uh, I'll show you in a minute that this sort of southerly look to the middle of the lake, which is kind of typical of this kind of pattern too, uh, looks kind of like it happened um, overnight. So let me sort of jump over to the, uh, to the current fleet situation and sort of We'll talk about that. So the situation is now, you guys remember last night when we looked at this, we had the whole fleet concentrated kind of in an area down here with a few boats popping up to the north. Uh, overnight, I mean, it looks to me like kind of the, the faster boats have maybe stayed north into a little bit better wind than the, uh, than the slower, smaller boats have because we've really got the, the fleet starting to, to split apart here. Infinite diversion is first and boat for boat. You see their boat speed is only 2.3 knots, right? So I'm guessing they're in some kind of a light westerly, southwesterly, southerly kind of thing, judging by the way they're pointing. It's an educated guess. Um, out here in the middle of the of the lake, we've got uh, a couple of boats that are going a little bit faster, four or five knots. So maybe in a little bit more breeze right now in the middle of the lake um, working north. But if we go back to these guys back here, now they are smaller, slower boats, but they're not so much smaller and slower that in the same conditions you'd be expecting these kind of differences in speeds. Uh, so you see 2.7 knots, 1.6 knots, uh, joint venture 2.3 knots. Um, so these are really, really light winds. And, uh, you know, I'm guessing they're south something, uh, southwest probably is my guess actually, southerly something like, uh, like that would be the winds that they're seeing right now, but really, really light, almost glassy looking out there. If you're out on the water right now, I bet you if we poke around Twitter for, for pictures, if anyone can get them out, um, there's not a lot uh, uh, going on. And we would see really, you know, really kind of like the reflection of the sunrise kind of going on. Neat little thing I want to show you in the tracker. If you click this button, it allows uh, extra playback buttons. I'm going to go ahead and set the speed high. And then I can back up in the race, as you saw, and we can watch the way that this evolved. And it's kind of interesting. Sort of where we left it last night was about there, I want to say. Let me drag this up just a touch. Let it redraw. And now I can press this play button, and we can watch the boats go. And what you'll see is some boats begin to jive out, so they change the direction the wind is coming over their sails, which, again, suggests to me that we had some southerly breeze, right? Sailboats can't uh, sail directly into the wind. They can't sail away from the wind so um, directly. And so they, they change the side that the sail is coming over. And if the wind is out of the south, we see some of them going this way and some of them going this way in order to do that. Um, so that's one thing I would observe is I think the wind came out of the south. The second thing is, as I said earlier, and I was kind of talking while that happened, let's back it up a little. You can see the guys in the back, right? And this was at about three in the morning this morning, start really sort of jiving back and forth, kind of searching for air while the guys in the front right, are just kind of pulling out. Um, so it looks like they had a little bit more breeze, I think, overnight. Again, they go faster by nature, so we got to watch that too. Um, but I think that, that that was the situation a little bit farther north in the, in the lake. Okay, now I am going to go to, um, let's go to the weather forecast next. Chris Bedford was nice enough to send me this. Uh, I'm going to skip through some pages here. This is the current wind forecast, right? Um, current, I'm sorry, the wind forecast for 1 o'clock this afternoon. So uh, we're in the middle of our starts for the racing fleet at that point. We're in what looks to be a lake breeze, right? So there's wind coming off the lake here. Uh, that's where we worry about it down here in Chicago, right? Sort of easterly. Maybe it'll be a little southeasterly. Maybe it'll be a, nor a little northeasterly. I don't know. Um, the, up the fleet, we are also in a lake breeze um, uh, where the cruising fleet is. Uh, if you're in the middle of the lake here, you see things are a little bit more confused. I think that that's uh, um, typical of a lake breeze. Again, we have sort of a, a big high pressure system sitting in the middle of the lake when that happens. So uh, you want to get to the shore when you can get to the shore in the situation if you're in the cruising fleet. Uh, Chris uh, sent surface maps too, and I want to point out a couple things, and I'm not going to come back to surface maps a lot here. This warm front we've been talking about for a few days, right, is sitting out to the west. 
cold front behind it. You can see there's not a room, but a lot of room, a lot of room here in the uh, sort of the warm sector um, between the two of them. And that front's going to be something we're watching. The green is where we think there's going to be grain or heavy rain. Uh, by seven o'clock tonight, we're still in a lake breeze, but I want to point out right here. Uh, that lake breeze is actually starting to get modified a little bit so you see sort of a uh, higher areas of southeast winds we saw this yesterday in chris's forecast too from the approaching low pressure system warm front cold front um, going on so uh, that's going to be a harbinger of good things to come and then this is one o'clock sunday morning we have the warm front drawn through you can see the <clears throat> the winds have really transitioned over the, so uh, the southern part of the lake uh, into more of a southerly and uh, there's a southeasterly in front of the warm front right here. Some of the cruising fleet might be in this pretty good southeasterly. Most of the fleet should be in this sort of southerly gradient wind we have going on overnight. It's not huge, strong wind, but it's there. Um, and then rain. The rain comes through. Uh, we're pro forecasting rain overnight on Sunday. And I just want to show you, this is called the HRRR, uh, High Resolution Rapid Refresh Model. And the cool thing about it is that I can simulate uh, sort of... Um, sort of a uh, radar reflectivity. So this is at about 10 o'clock this morning, um, the forecast for the model. Uh, it's not handling some of the uh, storms that are out to the west of Chicago right now, so I want to keep an eye on those, but we'll sort of page through. You can see the storms building, and this is by about 5, 6 o'clock this evening. Right, Lots of energy up to the north there over Minnesota, comes through northern Wisconsin. And then this is by about 11 o'clock tonight, it begins to cross the lake, is this particular forecast. Uh, this model will be wrong, 100% will be wrong, but it gives us an idea uh, that overnight tonight, so this is 4 o'clock tomorrow morning, um, we will be looking at some, uh, some potential for thunderstorms really across most of the lake. Um, and so that's something that we're going to be watching overnight uh, uh, to, to ensure that we're watching our friends and fleet out there and everyone stays safe. Uh, quickly, uh, by the time we get into Sunday, there's some uh, confusion here from um, from the thunderstorm, the outflow from the thunderstorms we talked about yesterday, but you can see sort of a southerly, uh, southwesterly almost set up. Uh, by 1 p.m. on Sunday, that continues uh, to build. Um, the cold front then approaches the uh, the lake by, by uh, sort of, has this forecast has it splitting the lake by 7 p.m. on Sunday, and you can see the winds uh, in front of the cold front are kind of southwesterly, and the winds behind it are kind of westerly, westerly to northwesterly. <clears throat> and by then, 7 o'clock Monday morning, we're in a real nice westerly kind of wind, which, uh, you know, 10 knots, something like that. So the highest wind speeds, I think, are going to be on um, uh, back here. Right. They're a little bit confused by the thunderstorm right now with the highest ones we see here tomorrow morning when the thunderstorm activity goes through. And we also, if you can get up there, see some real nice winds uh, north of the warm front that some of the cruising fleet might see um, early Sunday morning. But we've got to be watching for, for again, for convection as it goes. Okay, so hopefully that helped a little bit for with what we're looking for. I will be watching Facebook and Twitter and um the starts for the racing fleet begin in a couple of hours here. Wishing everyone a fast, uh, safe race. And um, please hit me with any questions, comments um, on Facebook or Twitter. And look for video updates as the day goes on. Thanks so much.